Today we have a new project. We're building a smokeless fire pit. I purchased this fire ring from Tractor Supply. So I'm gonna start off by penetrating some holes around the circumference of the ring. And the reason why I'm doing that is to allow air to penetrate from the top portion of the ring inside the fire. I mark every two inches, so let's go. Safety first. You don't want any of this metal to fall inside your eyes. So wear your glasses. Also make sure you wear some gloves, a long sleeve sweater or a shirt, because once you start drilling, this could get pretty hot and you don't want to get burned, believe me. So I decided to skip this section over here because I don't want to mess with the integrity of the weld. One more. You want to clean the other side of the hole. As there's going to be a lot of metal spikes, you can always use a bigger bit. So the next thing, I'm going to measure two inches from the bottom. And I'm going to be penetrating three holes next to each other. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side and also going across. So I finally finished drilling all the holes. Drilling all the holes. No, I mean, I finally finished doing all the drilling. So right now, I'm gonna put all the stones around the pit. I'm gonna put some marbles inside the pit, around the pit to make it look nice. A few feet away, I'm gonna be putting a belt tent. And that's gonna be the next video, so stay tuned. I'm gonna be putting this bag of marble in there. So let me explain how this works. So cold air enters the chamber through the gaps in between the stones from the bottom portion. Once it enters the chamber, cold air floats inside the first set of holes on the ring, fueling the fire. Then the fire starts to heat up the air and the hot air rises and enters the top hole of the ring, allowing for the smoke to focus into the center and rise up. 